Hello, everyone. My name is Michael Kazike, and I'm the Director of Relations for Rallython at the University of Vermont. Today, my fellow directors and I are going to be talking about bringing cause connection to campus and how you can bring that back for your own dance marathon. Getting right into it, we're going to talk about who we are, our miracle families, events, hospital integration, and most importantly, our community. We are extremely excited to have been invited by Miracle Network Dance Marathon and to have the opportunity to speak on something that makes our dance marathon so special. A little bit about ourselves. We come from the beautiful state of Vermont, located in Burlington, as we just wrapped up our eighth dance marathon. We are proud to say that we raised over $106,000 with a total of 647 participants. UVM's Children's Hospital is the only full service children's hospital in the state, as well as, as helping kiddos in parts of New York and New Hampshire as well. Our community is very grateful for the UVM's Children's Hospital, which is why we garner year round support from hospital staff, local partners, community members, and especially students. This involvement runs deep with a single miracle family raising over $2,000 right alongside us and to everyone coming out to the Trek presentation as seen in the picture. Now, the structure of our dance marathon may be a little bit different from yours, so this is a brief explanation of what our different roles are. Instead of presidents and vice presidents, we are composed of four directors with each of us overseeing an executive team with specialized roles, and we couldn't forget about our two amazing advisors and other faculty that help us along the way. I, as a director of relations, oversee involvement from our school's different clubs and organizations, communicate with individual students and faculty to grow our cause, and work with Miracle Children and their families to ensure that they are at the forefront of everything we do. Our director of events oversees all the planning, scheduling, organizations, and the many events that we do throughout the year. This ensures that we create a family-friendly main event with individualized activities and constant engagement of our community and especially our Miracle Children. Our Director of Finance is all about emphasizing partnerships in our greater community with one-on-one -on -one meetings, not only for donations, but to also educate and spread awareness. This is done through co-sponsorships and having them attend our main event and interact with the exact community that they are supporting. Lastly, but not least, we have our Director of Marketing who handles everything under the sun involving social media and public education. They accomplish this using social media to not only promote our events, but to also let the public know about National Child Health Day in fun and engaging ways, catering to everyone, including our Miracle families. My name is Madeline Wood, and I am the Director of Events for Rallython, and I'm really excited to tell you about one of the most important aspects of our main event, which is the inclusion of our Miracle Kids. We wanted to introduce you to one of our Miracle Kids, Briggs. Riggs looks forward to our event every year, but unfortunately he was unable to attend our 2023 event. So we decided to bring Rally Fon to him. This included sending Briggs and his sister personalized swag packs. Of the things included in his bag was a large rubber duck covered in golden glitter. This is because Briggs is always in charge of running our fundraising game, Check a Duck. This was a special moment for our student led team and for Briggs to show how important he is for us. On the other side of things, Rallython uses the school year to plan and hold events for the Vermont community in order to raise awareness for our cause, as well as fundraising. These events include tabling, a 5K race put on at the beginning of the school year to garner attention, push weeks, and clothing drives. During our event, it is important to us that the and to the families to maintain a family-friendly atmosphere. Our most popular events include Chuck a Duck, Pile in a Pool, Stuff a Friend, Raffles, and our famous Color Wars. Color Wars is our main attraction, not only for par our participants, but for our Miracle Kids in attendance. We split all participants into four different color groups, each led by a Miracle Kid. Our Miracle Kids, with the help of their friends and family, lead their respected teams into friendly competition. The competition includes games such as post-it note races, where we see how many post-it notes each team can place on a poster in a minute, frozen t-shirt contest where you freeze a t-shirt and each team has to unravel their shirt and wear it the fastest and oreo cookie races the team that wins each competition gets a point and the team with the most points at the end of the night gets prime bragging rights 
This is an event that gets everyone at our main event involved and excited. Hey y'all, so my name is Lauren Frampton and I am the Director of Finance for the 2024 year. So rolling into hospital integration, we are very blessed to have a ton of support from the UVM Children's Hospital staff and are able to integrate our event into the hospital itself, as well as integrating them into our program. Our chief of pediatrics, Dr. First, is one of our biggest supporters, and he helps to promote the main event at the hospital. Moreover, he attends any events he's available for and even gained Rallyathon national exposure this year when we were honored to have him promoting the event at a national pediatric convention. While he was very missed at this year's main event, he recorded for us a personalized video to kick it all off, which you'll see later, to ensure everyone in attendance was aware of the impact they were making on the children and the hospital. Other wonderful members of the UVM Children's Hospital staff also attend our events, such as the PEDS nurses and those working in child life and long-term care, and they share their stories of the direct impacts they see for their patients and in the tools and equipment that our fundraisers provide for the children being treated. This allows for the participants to see the tangible evidence of where the money goes, like bringing preemie diapers to tabling events for people to hold themselves. One of the best parts of our event is the attendance of our miracle children and their families who come and share their stories and presentations about how they have been personally impacted by the hospital and the support that Rallyathon provides for them, not only financially, but also in advocacy and personal support throughout their treatments and even for special events such as their birthdays. One of the main things we wanted to focus on for the 2023 event was emphasizing engagement with all of our communities, both on and off campus. While in past years, there has been a large focus on participant registration, we wanted to create a community centered around our purpose in supporting the children and build a strong foundation for returning participants in coming years by emphasizing the potential of a single donation to change a child and a family's life. Some of the ways we've been encouraging cause connection on campus are supporting Miracle-Led miracle Kid led fundraisers, co-partnered events with other organizations, and PowerPoint presentations to new and returning teams, which last year totaled 39 teams, including 14 FSL teams, 10 student org teams, and 12 independent UVM teams, as well as student life and civic engagement offices. Once the team is registered on Donor Drive, the members are then offered a limited time discounted registration price to encourage their future involvement with the program. Some of these groups will then perform amongst the Miracle Children at the main event, further emphasizing their crucial role in our organization. In terms of mission integration within our surrounding Burlington community, we reach out to all our partners and individual sponsors multiple times throughout the year that include updates from the hospital and Miracle stories, videos, or pictures. And local partners are contacted in person whenever possible to relay the stories and the materials to demonstrate the value that they serve for us and the gratitude we have and for all of their support. My name is Liv Hayden and I am Rallyathon's Director of Marketing. Here to talk about the process of planning events throughout the year where we try to keep in mind a multitude of ways to make meaningful connections between our hospital and our campus. We found two avenues of doing this, bringing the hospital to our campus or bring our campus to the hospital in every literal or figurative way that we can fathom. Our chief of pediatrics, Dr. First, has continued to show up and show out for every event we hold as an organization. Well known and loved for his songs and jokes, despite his busy schedule, he will always make his appearance. His opening speech or video displays just how significant each and every dancer's work is in changing the lives of our miracle children. We also have other doctors from our hospital come and share their stories firsthand about how our fundraising efforts have impacted each and every child they see come through the doors of UVM Children's Hospital and surely other Miracle Network Dance Marathon hospitals alike. Pediatric psychologists, nephrologists, and oncologists have and more have educated our dancers on how each dollar amount can be utilized in changing the lives of the next generation. All of our miracle families are given the opportunity to share their story however they're comfortable. Some parents will tell the stories of hardships they've been through and support that they've been shown, or some kids will take the stage and educate everyone on exactly what has brought them here. And 
Like spoken about before, each and every Miracle Kid is crowned a captain of a color team at main event. They are the leader of groups to look for for games, challenges, events, and more. All of our dancers will interact at one point or another with a child that they directly impact because they're dedicated to Rallython and our cause. Each child is given a blanket when going into procedures at our hospital to help make them feel more comfortable. We decided to hand make as many blankets as our hands could tie so that it could be even more of a special gift. As a partnered event with another campus organization, the Wellness Environment, we were able to bring a wider audience together to learn, understand, and as we like to say, move mountains and make miracles. Our dancers get the reward of knowing something they made will be comforting someone somewhere soon. On a similar note, we made arts and crafts sets for kids that would have a longer stay at the hospital. Equipped with pencils, coloring sheets, beads, string, and more, we hope their kits make the hospital stay that much easier. And finally, for the people who make the world go round, we held space for people to make appreciation cards for the staff at the hospital. We hope they know how much their work truly changes the world, even if it's one card at a time. Without them, none of this would be possible. And that brings us to the end of our presentation. Thank you so much for taking the time to listen to us. And I might be biased, but I think everyone should take their phones out, scan this QR code, and listen to Dr. First's opening video from this year. His love and light should be shared farther than just to the University of Vermont. And a special thank you to Michaela, Taylor, and everyone else at DMLC that made this possible, Mimi and Tati, our advisors, and UVM Children's Hospital for cheering us on along the way. It has been a pleasure to share our dance marathon with you.